Today's topic, TV. So many options. Streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon Streaming. Ignore the cat, he's being tormented by the dog. Um, old school options like cable TV and Dish Network. And you have the really old school options of over the air TV, OTA. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna talk about today, how to record and play back shows using Myth TV, Plex, and Chromecast. Now, OTA has two big advantages. The most obvious is it's free. It's available in most medium or larger cities with plenty of channels. The second advantage is that many of the channels are in high definition, uh, actually a better quality of TV than you get with streaming services or even cable TV. So the first thing you're gonna need is an antenna. I have a $10 antenna over here in the corner it's this Batman-like wing thing, and uh, this one does not need an amplifier because I'm fortunate enough to be, you can't see it now, but over the Capitol building there is a Farnsworth Peak that has uh, 30 different television station antennas uh, named after um, Mr. Farnsworth, an early TV pioneer and fusion enthusiast. Not to be confused with uh, the Utah, uh, back in the 80s, the Utah uh, University had uh, Pons and Fleshman debacle, I'd like you to forget, but <clears throat> anyway, back to TV. The antenna connects down, you follow the labyrinth of wires here, to a little box called the Home Run TV. This is a $90 um, box that connects to the Ethernet, it connects your uh, TV antenna to the Ethernet. Uh, one watt for you power mongers out there. Sorry, two watts. Uh, the cool thing about this is it connects, uh, because it's on Ethernet, any device in your house can talk to it. For example, uh, I have this Windows machine here. We can demo uh, live TV by running the um, Home Run TV app. Just feel it. And it's mixed up on my head and heart. <laughs> Classic like, video. Me. Uh, or you can change your channels quickly, and uh, and this can work from uh, again PCs or tablets. If you are in a horror movie, you may. Uh, the, but uh, yeah, but who wants to watch live TV? Time shifting, um, commercial skipping, and most importantly, the pause button. Now that's where it's at. Uh, the little Nook PC I demoed last week, well, he was getting bored with the menial home control domination tasks. So I put a program called Myth TV on it, and now it can watch TV. I initially tried a program called TV Head End as a back end recorder, and X BMC, now Xbox um, Media Channel, XBMC, as a front end, but I had issues getting those to run with the home run tuner. So tried Myth TV and it worked really well. Now Myth TV has both a front end and a back end. I'm going to show you the uh, web interface or the Linux box has a uh, uh, back end just runs as a daemon. Uh, in, once you've configured it you don't change it much. There's a front end uh, interface here meant for uh, lean back experience with TVs when you're connected directly to the TV. Now I'm not using that because my uh, little PC is not connected to a TV, it just sits in the corner by itself. Instead, for programming um, television shows and uh, reviewing the um, listings interface, I use this Myth TV. Uh, basically from any browser in the house, you can review your television shows, um, re uh, decide what to record, review upcoming, shows uh, recording shows that have been recorded. You can look at your status, see here I see the first tuner is busy recording 60 minutes and the second tuner is uh, not being used. So this web interface I find is a much nicer interface for interfacing with web TV, <coughs> Myth TV. So that gets us um, the um, TV listings and uh, be able to review recorded shows. Now we got to play them back, and for that we introduce the third element. That would be 
Chromecast. That's a $30 little stick you get from, you can buy from Google. I really can't see it very well, but it's right there. And that allows you to broadcast uh, photos or music or video from any device in the house again. For example, <clears throat> I have a program called Plex. Now, there's a Plex uh, daemon running on the uh, Linux box, and he makes available all of the Myth TV recorded shows through a plugin called um, Myth TV Recordings. This is a nice plugin because it lets you review your recordings by uh, channel or date or type. And so, for example, I can uh, play back locally. Um, this is the movie uh, action thriller Lehman Neeson uh, taken. I can play it back here. Or if I click this little uh, broadcast button up here, we can pick. If I had another finger, we can pick the Chromecast device, which now takes over the TV, and instead of playing here, it plays there. Uh, it comes into focus. <laughs> you could see it. Uh, yeah. Well, trust me, it's a, it's a much nicer quality than this focus is working. There's Liam Neeson there. <clears throat> uh, so that's it. You got Myth TV recording, Plex serving, Chromecast playing, um, um, free TV for everybody. Uh, that's it for this week. Until next time.